guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called How Game Are You? It's for uh, two to four players, it takes about 30 to 60 minutes, and it is a couples intimacy uh, attraction style game in which players are going to basically be getting pawns and a board as well as a bunch of sets of cards. And you're going to be selecting a card to start with and reading it to your opponent or your partner. They're going to answer it and then they're going to score points based on how well they answer the question. Then, of course, they will get to ask you a question. And if you play with multiple players, you can simply have two couples playing with, the, uh, with each other working to get across the board or make it a free-for-all. And there's a teen edition coming out as well. You'll also get included this blindfold here so you don't actually get to know what's going on for certain things. It'll allow rubbing and touching and sensations and all that good stuff. And of course, there's pledges as well that start off the game, which is basically going to allow you to make sure that you're not cheating because you're going to be pledging. Uh, there's going to, be, going to be difficulty cards of one pepper, two, three, and even more. Like there's this uh, four one here. This is for four, uh, which is going to basically do interesting things that involves positions and toys and all kinds of more intimate things that you can add to the game. But the idea is simply to cross the finish line, whether it be by yourself or with uh, a couple. Uh, or with your or with your partner <laughs> or with a couple and then drawing five of these pamper cards which are going to allow you to select one and then give one to your opponent uh, which will bring more intim intimacy into your relationship that's the basic idea of how game are you so let's go ahead and find out what game you are and i will show you the contents of the game so here we have the game How Game Are You and everything included in it as well. You're going to be getting a board which comes in the box and the board is going to have the rules and simple setup on this side. It's going to have the scoreboard over here and it's going to have the different topics one, two, and three over here. It'll also potentially come with a How Game Are You Really uh, box which is going to include these four peppers which you can go ahead and shuffle into any of the decks that you want. They're going to involve some interesting positions that I'm not going to reveal on the camera just in case they're not appropriate for those of you that are younger um, there's going to be pledge cards here that you're going to basically be reading to start the game off, basically ensuring that you are playing honestly. And then, of course, performer pamper cards. These are going to involve different things you can do for your partner based on who wins the game will be selecting them. You're going to get a blindfold, which you saw me use already, and, of course, the box and another set of rules for more a detailed understanding of the game. And that's pretty much what you're going to get. Each of these are for your own unique player, and you can play up to four players, but really, you could probably play with more if you just included more meeples or more cards if you wanted. Um, and you can play with any kind of variant you really want to play after you hear the basics of the rules, which I will explain right now above. So to begin the game, go ahead and set yourself up in couples or pairs, and everybody's going to get one of their own unique little meeples, and you put it on the start position on the board. You're then going to make sure you have all the cards already set up, and the pampers set aside, and of course the blindfold as well. That may or may not be used throughout the game. Then, on your turn, you're simply going to draw the first pepper card based on where you are on the board, and then you're going to read it. It's going to be a question and answer card, specifically for this one, and it says, on average, how often do you hold hands with your partner. Then you're going to answer the question, and uh, I will then read the score. So two points for a minimum um, response, one point, uh, oh, it says, sorry, two uh, points for minimum twice per week, one place for only once per week, and otherwise you get zero points. So depending on how many times you hold your hand is how many points you're going to get. And it gives you kind of an idea of um, what kind of intimacy things you are doing with your partner and what kind of things you are not doing. So kind of like a heads up, which is nice. Uh, throughout the game, as you get through the points, after you get to 13 and then 25, you'll be doing the two peppers and three peppers. And after your turn is over, you're going to pass it to your partner. And then, of course, if you're playing with more couples or more partners, you can go ahead and simply pass the next turn on to them. Uh, there's going to be uh, the two question peppers, which say, like somebody else says, another question answer. If it was possible for us to dedicate one interrupted hour together each week for a year to learn something new or do something together, what would it be and maybe be like jogging or going doing some kind of sport or whatnot uh so that's the that idea and they get a little more intimate as the peppers go on would you rather mm, moan passionately for at least five seconds uh for two spaces or go back two spaces so this is kind of a would you weather question they have things that are they're all different types of things right name if game uh make up two names for this specific fun time position and would you try it? And you can go ahead and answer it that way. These are the four quest, four pepper ones, so they get a little more intimate. So if you're playing and you're a little bit younger, um, it probably won't be 18 regardless with some of these things. But uh, but I think with the three peppers, they're fine. They're just more of like getting you to be more intimate with your partner, and all at the same time, it scores you points based on how well you're doing. And of course, your partner is going to know your answers if they're if you're telling the truth or not. Um, 
after the game is over, it's basically the person who reaches the end first, or couple that ends the game first, depending on what you're playing, you'll draw five of these performer pamper cards. And uh, maybe one of them will be money issues can cause ongoing disconnection. Draft then share a plan to get uh, the finances under control, e.g. budget, debt, reduction, reduce spending, habits, final, uh, find professionals for help, etc. And you have to complete the task in 14 days, or if you don't, you have to pamper your, your, your loved one. And uh, then you get to keep one as the winner, and you have to give one away to your partner as the loser. And of course, like I said, there's many variations with more than one, more than two players in the game, more than just a, a single two-player game. Um, and that's the basic idea of the game. The points are going to be scored based on the different cards, and all different cards are going to score you different amounts of points, which basically allow you to move down the track, uh, thusly letting you try the different peppers out. And of course, the four peppers are what you add if you want to. They're like the NS and not safe NSFW for work, basically. Um, and then that's how you do it. That's how you play the game. Let's go ahead and show you down below. I'll explain some of the more, more of the cards, and then we'll come up and I'll tell you what I think about it, as well as um, I'll give you an example of how we played with my cameraman just to learn the game, and then how we played with the couples and, and, and whatnot, and my experiences with both of those. All right, down we go. So now we're heading back to the game, How Game Are You? And it's already set up for two couples, and you can go ahead and simply move them from side to side. You have the colors to represent your characters. The blindfold, these are just the different peppers that you can find that are already set up over here. And if you want, like I said, you can shuffle these, these fours into the deck any way you want. The pledge cards are the first thing you're going to do, which you're going to go ahead and have everyone read these out loud to form the pledge and set the pampers aside. And then the first player is going to read to the second player uh, by drawing one of these cards here. And it says, Touch and Trust. And the blindfold on and then select something around the room and rubs it against their partner's certain area depending on what the card says and then uh, if the player is able to guess what that thing in the room is you get three points one for guessing something close zero for otherwise so if this player is able to guess that it was in fact oh I don't know this crazy little figure that I was rubbing against her then she would simply move three spaces if she got it close said maybe it's a miniature of some kind and then if she said I have no idea what it is she go back so that's how you get gain points and then she's going to read a question to my character in which case it would say name two locations you could or would skinny dip if you were in the mood maybe I would say the beach and maybe I would say oh I don't know a pool right and in which case I would gain at one point for each and then of course the next couple is going to get to go they're going to read cards again this one here says something like what is the biggest cause of divorce and if you can figure it out maybe um what does it say here 100, 100 mental professionals were polled and said Communication problems are the number one, which I think is probably true. Two places for answering communication or something similar. So if this player asks this player and they got it right, two spaces for communication. And that's, you get the idea, right? So you guys are all gonna be moving down these tracks here. And as, as you move down the tracks, you're gonna eventually come to these certain spots, one, 13, and 25. When you get to 13, people will start reading the two chilies to you, and when you get to 25, people will start reading the three chilies. Now, they all have approximately the same amount of points you can gain, whether it be two, three, or even four points, and in addition, they're gonna have these special extra position cards, or they'll ask you like to name a toy. I don't know if I can show any of these. Okay, I can show this one here. Uh, that says name this and or three different positions you could do with this specific thing and if you can figure out what that specific thing is and what you can use it for you're going to gain points that way and players are just going to continue to go down the board as they continue it's going to snake along like this until somebody reaches this finish line when that happens that player is going to simply pick five of these cards here the performer pampers flip them over and then you're going to read them all to yourself give one to yourself and give one to your partner and then you can go ahead and carry these out and you'll have two weeks to carry this out and that's the basic idea of the game now there's additional different variants of play and the number of players could be a sim simple single couple or you can include multiple couples or multiple partners but that is the game how game are you the relationship couples intimacy style game. All right, let's come up and talk about it. All right, so how game am I? Well, I will tell you how game I am. The first thing I normally do when you get a review game in here at Unfiltered Gamer is me and my cameraman will play it. And so that is what we did with how game are you? We wanted to learn the rules first before we got involved with playing with other people. And we went through and read the cards and we learned quite a little bit about our, uh, our <laughs> hetero uh, relationship, which was a very fun and enjoyable little, uh, <sighs> A game we enjoyed together. It was fun. We get to learn a little bit about ourselves, I suppose. And throughout the game, we started to learn some things. Like the first of all, the chilies represent the more spicier cards as you get go along. The first thing is just general topics that will ask you true false questions. The relationship topics, which get a little more personal with you and the person you're playing with. And then these sexual topics, which could involve regarding you guys specifically, or could regard just in general. And then of course the fours, which you could put them into the decks if you want. Those ones are specifically like 
that they're about that that specific topic, right? Um, and if you don't want to do a card or you want to pass, you can choose to do that, but you have to say that you're not game enough to do that. So maybe it's one of those things where you, maybe my cameraman doesn't want me to uh, rub him with something random in the room while he's wearing a blindfold. He can choose to, and he did choose to, pass by saying he was not game enough for that card. Now, I would be game enough for sure. Um, but that's, that's an interesting aspect of this game, right? I thought this was going to be kind of a Spencer's gift gag thing going on. And I mean, it kind of would be, kind of does work that way in which you're going to have there are these relationship games at Spencer's, but it's not really a gag game. This game actually does have interesting uh, topics regarding psychology. I, I got my degree in psychology actually before I started doing this, and uh, it has a lot of interesting statistics on it, which is nice. It tells you a little bit of uh, hints on the back that explain certain things. Uh, for instance, maybe let's see if I can find something interesting. This one says... Uh, what does BDSM stand for? And it gives it says combination of the terms bondage and discipline with sadomasochism or sadism and mas, uh, mas, masochism. So there's a it kind of goes into detail at length. It has different studies on them. Uh, this one says what things do you think married men desire more uh, from their wives? And that's it says that their wife would initiate uh, fun time more often, have specific types of fun time, and that their wife could do their thing at the end of the thing more easily. Man, it's hard to explain these things without being like, very blunt. Uh, I'm filtering myself, which is not something I like to, like to do. Uh, it's the place between, so it, it explains things like what is the perineum and, and, and that kind of thing, right? But nevertheless, it is going to give you a little bit of insight. It'll also touch upon your relationship with your partner. You'll say, oh, we don't really hold hands that often, or we don't really hug that much after, our, after we have sex and, and that kind of stuff. Or we don't... Uh, we don't go to the beach as much as we'd like, or is that what you would like to do and we don't do that? So it was kind of interesting, especially when you play with just a one-on-one -on -one experience with your partner. Um, whether you're going to get people interested in doing this with you or not, especially couples, uh, it's going to be probably a little more difficult. When and, and specifically with your partner, I think it'll be one of those things where you bring out once in a while to uh, freshen up the bedroom a little bit, or maybe just to simply learn about each other more. Uh, the performer pamper cards are pretty cool too because they are going to give you those things you're missing out on kind of maybe like uh, review the top 10 relationship sex money podcast lists on the specific sites or blogs or find yourself find others to drive uh trips for uh, walks for yourself together so you're gonna be uh doing some research potentially with this your, your partner wants you to and you're gonna select certain things for each other and playing the game uh it gets a little more uh, risque as the game goes on which is kind of fun and the game is also nice because it works with the lgbtq plus community you can play it with any type of couples with any type of amount of partners you want and you can kind of relate the rules to how you want to go about uh, playing the game. Maybe you have three males playing the game. You could simply have them all read in a circle to each other or read uh, separately as long as everybody gets the same amount of turns, making the game fair. Of course, some of the cards are, if you're looking for more strategic aspects in the game, the cards are different in range and points, and sometimes the question is going to be easier, sometimes it'll be more difficult to answer. Uh, this game is not about strategy. This is about relationships. It's about getting to know each other. It's probably, probably pretty good for beginning relationships as well as older relationships that may need to figure out what their partner wants, and it's harder for you to talk to your partner in that kind of a way. And it did, it did help. Uh, with me specifically in the terms of there's certain things I had forgotten that we used to do that now we are going to start doing again based on some of the cards in this game. So it was very useful in that aspect. And then of course there's just the fun of a game like this where you're using the blindfold and whatnot. Maybe you're going to choose to not do this specific thing. Maybe you will. This game is going to touch on those who are probably in a relationship or those who are interested in people. Maybe like a, a fun party style game with other people. But it has a lot of more mature and uh, intellectually deeper content, which is interesting for a game like this. It's different. Uh, overall, this is going to be one of those games for married couples, for people who are dating or people who are interested in certain couples, and whether or not you want to play with multiple people is up to you. Uh, it's going to be a niche thing. For me personally, I enjoyed my experience with this game, probably bring it out once in a while to play and uh, get a little more insight. But uh, overall, this will be up to you as to what you decide right now. It's right on the level for me. It's it's a solid little game for what it is. It's a part party, part relationship style game. How game are you? Let me know in the description below and in the comments, as well as taking a look at the website, which is in the link down below. All right, guys, uh, that's all I got for you this time. Let's go ahead and signal the end outro. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you're interested in taking a look at how game are you, go in the description below and take a look for all you uh, lovebirds out there, couples, newlyweds, 
vets and even people who have been in the, in the game a long time like myself. Well, 10-year ten, ten relationship, one year of marriage. If that's a long time for you, I, I, I don't know. For me it is. Um, as well as taking a look at our website, unfilteredgamer.com, tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. We're actually going to be giving away a copy of How Game Are You on the website. If it sounds interesting, you can try and win it. And if not, if you lose, uh, that's okay. There'll still be a week left in the campaign by the time that it's over, so you'll have an opportunity to win the game regardless. All right, guys, that's all I got for this time. And as always, I look forward to sharing with you about my relationships next time. I suppose. <laughs>